modify the what you like to do say their existence let's say they did modify it so you can modify what you try to do so this is the functionality is the modify so you select the features and you try to modify it and then put it the you exist resource in the older resource and fill refill it in here so this is the most important one so here is the I say a little bit written here, so how it is done. So mainly, mainly road network coming from the Gue fabric, from street map, put it this data into the for GIS database and from the for geo geo service configurations, and then put it the geo service call into the into the your page. So you have a tile maps and geo server, and you have this is the really call. So we have the base map call. That's we define the base URL. This is our base URL call. We set our base URL, and this is our Geo server running the what we expected the BAZ URL call and then we have a different layer names so you see that the layers the road layers and you have the buildings layers and that this is the layer is named as I mean the buildings layer, roads layers so we call the the roads layers so we have the base layers the URL we have a params we have layers and then we pass it the our 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 of where, where the service how the layers define you see the how the layer defines you have the uv subgroup uv spatial and the roads layers and the layer to define so is the buildings osm buildings two layers so if i go to the osm buildings two layers maybe uh, osm 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 it is something here or no it is page number two osm mm, now let's let let's have a try maybe this one so this is the you see that the UV subgroup and then you have OSM buildings layer 2 if I go to there here's the building group uh, it is it is getting the ugly and maybe you can make it bigger bigger so you see this is the all the roads the OSM layers so you see the if I go the building layer you see the open layer so this is exactly where we are putting here this part of the the URL so we put it base layers and then we define the layers definition tile true and then type of the server server type the geo server that's true if you have a map server then you have the map server translate uh, trans transition transition means the transparency of the you, you maps in zero transparency and then you have it you have a dub tile wms layer and you define your tile layers and put the resource that you have it here so this dot resource there. and then after that and then you have the road layer that i defined here already saw you the exactly the same thing nothing special minus the same commands here and then you put it there your the tile maps and tile layers to this one and then you group so this is the grouping that's the most important part that i already explained you a little bit more this one so i have a group layer definition i have a variable definition that any type of variables then you have the the new new well layers groups and then you the osm layers and you lay pass the layers so this is the layers that we have so we have a road layers now we have a road uh, road layers and buildings layer that's you you get it from here so if you have good applications uh, and then you have you have some some maybe we can we can omit that one of the layers then you can see that clearly what I mean <coughs> let let's stop the 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 road layers so run the applications so that's why I say this is really really divided the all the communication all the definition of your services is really definition of your functions or resources is really independent really flexible you can quickly configure or change your configurations so so if i go to the, the again refresh the server so you see uh, which one we are trying to no we didn't save it yet sorry so you compile compile is done so you see ah we are here so we are different features that i mean the geo server feature sorry 
So you see that we can you can be guided it. So this is our buildings features that we expected here. So we, we defined our resources and uh, here geo server resources. Uh, we, we defined the resources, but but we didn't integrate the layers and the layer groups. So this is really really way to do. So we defined resources, we define use the with the map layers. So we can even though you can building layers omitted and then you can go to the your your default. <coughs> So you see the you know, modify layers so only the map layers is coming there is nothing more into the your, your buildings informations so it's really properly designed the the your map layers so that means you define the services into the geo server call it what you need to do if you have to define your 10 or 15 services but for this application you need only two for that i said this is my enterprise application level application there's a many many services call many many services call to do this to all the geo functionality maybe 15 services call for different features for point of interest depending for me for video layers for video over layers image over layers or, or other type of over layers and so depend what type of application you try to do but but you can define everything in geo server call it what you need to do that's why i said I call the geo define the geo server. I call it these services in the, in the Java technology, in the leaflet and open layers and and time leaves so types on jQuery. It doesn't matter which which React maybe React in future screencast will be the React. How can you call these services in the React technology with with leaflet or open layers? It doesn't matter. It is it is it is flexible to define the service and call it service into the your 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 client APIs, your kind of client application. So you define our the scale and line scale is here the line scale and then overview maps that you you look for this line scale maps you know here the line scale maps you see scale maps and the overview maps so you have your more overview and then so on and so forth you can go this one or no it is okay <coughs> So we define the maps and then map overview maps with the maps definition, constant maps. We define the necessary selection modified as a, as a interactions and targets maps. The target maps you will show you the target maps is here. The div ID in HTML page. You define the the element ID. This is that the ID that you define. So if you change it here, map one, map two, you need to be changed the map one, map two there also otherwise that application doesn't work it doesn't know where need to be tagged the html need to be tagged that if you have changed like map 2 i think so it will die the applications <coughs> let's compile and let's go it is died the application it does know where it need to be do but even though you can you can build a, uh, the what you need to do it doesn't know where I need to be fill it and need to back it. That's that's why. If I if I go to there here map two, it is works. It, it should works. You see, it is it is works. It is. That, that's that's the communication that you font and you you your business logic, your view, view technical view part. This is the, the HTML means your view part. Because I am not expert in the in the in the view technology part, but you you know idea get the idea how the views works HTML and the in the HTML and JavaScript and then you TypeScript class. So this is the business class that you have it here. So we go back to the original stage, or it is doesn't matter. And then you have the layers. You have the you have a raster layers, the the base layers. You have a vector layers, and then you have a open layer groups. Let's 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 put it like. Uh, we don't need it our vector layers means I need don't need it uh, maybe we can go to the, this way so layers layers grouping we have in like three layers you have raster layers that's we have the base layer, base layer that's we already defined in the base layers even though you can even run your application with the wood based layers. Maybe we can check it like here. So if you can run it like base layers, it should there is no no base maps. 
So this is a modifier, you see that there is no base maps. 